Welcome to Junkyard Haunts, where we turn trash into haunts. I happen to have another trophy for best costume laying around, and I decided I think it's time to soup it up again. I can put a link up to the last one that I made, so you can check it out. This time we're going to make it much bigger and drastically different looking. Uh, we're going to skip a lot of this beginning stuff. Uh, basically, we just build up a cardboard base with some tape and we cover it in paper mache. Now to get to the interesting stuff, I decided that I wanted this trophy to look more like stone, so we're gonna go ahead and texture it. I have some thin set mortar, which makes a good texture if you want anything to look like stone. Uh, this is basically painting concrete onto it, so you know it basically is stone, but it'll be a lot lighter and still give you that good looking texture that you'd want. Unfortunately, because of how this stuff is made, it does just fall off unless you put a thick coat of paint around it. I'm using an exterior latex paint. I find that that probably actually works the best of making sure that the sand particles in the thin set mortar don't fall off. But we're just covering it up with a base dark gray. And then to really actually make it look like stone, this is when we do um, a nice dry brushing technique over it by taking that same color of paint and adding a little bit of white in and rubbing it on very lightly. I make props every Monday so make sure you subscribe and follow along and check them out and don't forget to share with all your friends too. After we put on one coat of this dry brushing I actually like to go in and add a third coat of just white but even covering less of it and even more of a dry brush so that it just takes a little bit more shine up. Now here comes the actual cool part of the, the trophy, adding on all the skeletons that are climbing up of it. Now this is probably something that would have been t done better if I would have just painted all these little skeletons before I put them on. But that's okay, we can always go in and paint it after it's done. But this part's really fun because you can just the props are already built, you're just cutting it up and gluing it back together in a position you like. Uh, it's really easy and you can get some really creative cool looking ideas with it. Uh, you basically you just cut at the joints and then glue them on how you want it and then just glue the joint back on and put it into the position, make sure you glue it into the position that you want. I actually work with another YouTube channel using his music as the background, so I'll just be quiet for a bit while and let you listen to his music. Uh, you can go check out his channel, his link is in the description. Now we're going to go in and paint it, which again, I probably should have done that before I glued them all on, but I didn't, so we're going to work with what we have. Uh, to turn these skeletons to be much more skeleton-y, instead of the plastic color that it came with, uh, we're just going to cover a base coat of it in black. Uh, not going to cover all of it, we're just getting the, the inner parts so it looks more dark on the inside of it, like in between each rib it will actually be black. And then with like kind of like a more dirty white, we're gonna go in and try to turn these bones back into actual bones. Um, we do this with a little bit heavier of a dry brush, but we we don't want to cover up all that black that we just painted in. We only want to get the highlight parts. Um, I for my white, I actually mix a few different paints together. I put in my white and then I mix a little bit of some ivory in and a little bit of gray even just to because straight white or straight off white doesn't look that good you want this to be more aged and dirty and just mixing paints together really helps that now we have to put the actual plaques back on uh, to try to make them look a little more 
actual plaques. Uh, I actually used more of a cream cardstock and I cut them out to size and then to try to actually make it shiny I actually put some varnish on the actual plaque part and just set that out to dry and when it's done drying I just go ahead and glue that on uh, I use a paintbrush so I can actually glue the edges to make sure they're nice and sealed tight but I hope the the varnish actually gives it a little bit more shine to it and to continue with that shininess, uh, the actual gold part of the trophy, I'm going to go ahead and cover up as much of that, trying to avoid the actual skeletons. I did think another way of doing this could have been to paint all the skeletons gold and add that varnish, but, I, but this is the choice that I ended up going with, and I like it. Thanks for watching that video. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you want me to make in the future. Or if there's some other cheap things that you get at Halloween that I should soup up and actually make look good. Make look good? Make look good. That's real, real English right there. Another trophy. Who would ever think a guy on YouTube who makes a lot of cool props would win more than one best costume trophy? the same cheap plastic ones.